whenever I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I'm looking at myself in the LCD monitor right next to the lens. I've mentioned it a couple times, but sometimes it's a little annoying even when I watch it, meaning watching the video. So I apologize. Now Tyler, I like your little story about going to see Rent, which I guess was last summer. I don't even remember when it came out. No, wait, it definitely couldn't have been last summer. It had to have been two years ago, two summers ago, because I remember seeing it with my ex-girlfriend at her birthday party because she got it for a present. And that's really fun that you like dancing in big cities. I kind of like dancing as well. But the most important thing that was in that story wasn't about rent and it wasn't about driving. It was about Steak and Shake. Now I know what you're thinking. JJ, Steak and Shake's just a regular restaurant. Not in Virginia. You see, as far as I know, there isn't a Steak and Shake anywhere near Virginia at all. The closest Steak and Shake I've ever been to is in Ohio. And let me tell you, the first time I actually did go to a Steak and Shake was in Indianapolis. We were with my uncle and my family and we went to Steak and Shake. Now at first, we were all kind of like, Steak and Shake? I don't want to shake with my steak. Or I don't want to steak shake. And I definitely don't want to shake my steak. But it was one of those restaurants that you, one, remember because of the awesome, awesome, most amazing food in the world. And also, because you know that little thing that your mom does? I think all moms really do it. There comes a day where she finds a phrase that she just thinks is so hilariously funny and it's kind of corny, but she just repeats it all the time. Let's go to Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake, yay! Steak and Shake. Woo, we're going to Steak and Shake. So something like that. And that's the second reason. Is my mom would not stay my mom would not stop saying Steak and Shake. But I have to admit that I absolutely love Steak and Shake. It is by far one of the greatest restaurants ever created in all time. Even God decided to visit Steak and Shake. It was in the news recently. And to prove it, you can go Google it. Another important aspect about this day is that today is my last video before you know what, BT and Brew. More about that later. And I hope everybody has a great weekend. I shall see you all on Saturday. Brew, you have a great day tomorrow. Happy Valentine's Day for you and Ray. And I hope to see your drag punishment eventually. BT, I shall see you on Friday. And I would really love for you to make that cheese it pyramid eventually. Oh, by the way, Brew, don't forget. Pi Nerdfighter 314's birthday is on February 26th. Brew, according to my calculations, that video day is your day. I will continue to remind you of this, but just to let you know now that February 26th is Pi Nerd Pi Nerdfight <laughs> Pi Nerdfighter 314's birthday. So be prepared. Also, I wanted to know, what's your all's favorite Pop Tarts? That includes you, Children of Awesome. All Children of Awesome. Leave me your favorite Pop-Tart flavor down there. If you don't like Pop-Tarts, please don't say anything about Pop-Tarts because I really, really don't like people that don't like Pop-Tarts because they're the greatest invention of all mankind. My personal favorites are blueberry and strawberry. Goodbye. Oh man, do I love looking like I'm a creepy person.